three festivals in one day, February 2nd, 2020. Wow, what a week. There are plenty of reasons to celebrate this week. We have Candle Mass, also known as Embolic, the Feast of St. Brigid, and Groundhog's Day, all occurring on February 2nd. It marks the middle of winter and holds the promise of spring. This is a time of purification, cleansing, and purging after time spent reflecting during the Yuletide. It's a time to shake off that dust, lift your chin up, take a deep breath of fresh air, and take charge of your life. Life is cyclic. All things end but are met with new beginnings. Embrace the ever-present energy that moves us forward, that reminds us every stage of life is temporary. I'm going to give you the history of Candlemas. Near the end of the winter season, as ancient people looked forward to the planting season of spring, many different cultures found ways to celebrate this shift from the cold and dark days to a happier and more productive time of year. Ancient Celts took this time of year to honor the goddess Brigid. Brigid was the goddess of purification and fertility. They would honor her by process processing from the village across the fields while praying for the health of their soil before planting. When Christianity was moving through the world, they too decided to place a festival of light around this time of year. Candlemas in the Christian tradition is better known by two different names, the Feast of the Presentation of Our Lord Jesus and the Feast of the Purification of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is a tradition for the churches to bring forward all of the candles to be used for the rest of the year for a special blessing. Embolic. Embolic is an ancient Celtic festival that marks midwinter in the solar calendar and is a time for preparation for coming out of the dark time of the year and into the light of the spring. Although the trees are still bare, there may still be ice and snow. The earth is beginning to stir deep within her roots. Nature is slowly beginning to wake up. That same can be said for those who walk a spiritual path. Many celebrate Embolic as the festival of fire. Bonfires and candles are therefore appropriate for celebration, as are the colors seen in a fire, white, yellow, and orange. Light green can also be used if you're honoring the lead up to spring. The Feast of St. Brigid. This is a time of celebration for St. Brigid, which teaches us about healing, home, hearth, birth, inspiration and the work we must do inside and outside ourselves to walk out of the cold of winter and into the warmth of spring. St. Brigid is the female equivalent of St. Patrick in Ireland, but there are no parades in her honor. It is a festival of spiritual purification and dedication. Groundhog's Day. Well, that Groundhog Day deserves derives from the Pennsylvania Dutch superstition that if a groundhog emerging from its burrow on this day sees a shadow due to clear weather, it will retreat to its den and winter will perish for, will persist for six more weeks. And if he does not due to cloudiness, spring season will arrive early. The, leather, the weather lore was brought from German speaking areas where the badger is the forecasting animal this appears to be an enhanced version of the lore that clear weather on Candlemas forebodes a prolonged winter. Once again, make sure you take advantage of these festive celebrations and enjoy them in your own special way. Here's what you can do to welcome these celebrations of new beginnings. Do a self-purification. Cleanse your body with an Epsom salts bath that represents earth. Your thoughts with incense, that represents air. Your will with a candle flame, that represents fire. Your emotions with water. And your spiritual body with a healing crystal, that represents spirit. Bless candles that you will be using throughout the year. Invoke St. Bridget for creative inspiration. Take a nature walk and look for the first signs of spring. Reflect upon reaffirm spiritual vows and commitments you have made. 
Thank you for taking the time to listen and watch my video. And please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell to receive notifications of future videos. And don't miss out on my special readings this week for the all of these celebrations. I've got discounts going, so please visit my website, CherokeeBillySpiritualAdvisor.com. Wishing you love and light, Cherokee Billy.